When it comes to traveling to Egypt, few people will put understanding and appreciation of modern art of Egypt on their agenda. As the birthplace of the oldest and best preserved civilization on earth, every inch of Egypt is history. It has an enormous amount of great cultural heritage. People come here for the monuments and landmarks such as the pyramids and the Valley of the Kings. While their eyes and minds are shocked, their brains are inevitably brought into an infinite loop like a downed computer by many unsolved mysteries and unfamiliar mass information, thus exhausting all their mental and physical energy. Equally extraordinary modern Egyptian sculptures and paintings are hidden gems in the dark under the lights, obscured by the dazzling light of the magnificent ancient architectural monuments, sculptures and exquisite tomb murals. Indeed, there are more than enough things to appreciate dating back to 7,000 years ago, let alone the new things created 100 years ago. People know that ancient Egypt had a civilization that was ahead of its time, but when it comes to the period of last century, there is no doubt that Western civilization is recognized as superior than that of the Egyptian. What other artistic achievements can be compared to that of ancient Egyptian civilization? Over time, the stereotype that only antiquities are worth seeing in Egypt, and that the post-Egyptian era is lackluster, has formed. Before the birth of Egyptian modern art, there was a general consensus in the European art world that artists from the Muslim world were behind their times, and the work of Egyptian artists was rarely compared to that of their European counterparts. If we simply summarize the reasons why the 3,000-year-old Egyptian native art has changed from leading the trend to being completely backward, in addition to the regime change that has made Egypt lose its autonomy and development, religion also played a crucial role in it. The last known Egyptian hieroglyphic inscription comes from the Temple of Isis on Philae Island in Aswan, south of Egypt. The date of the carving is August 24, 394 AD. Since then, Egypt has embarked on a process of full Christianization. In 537 AD, the last Egyptian temple was ordered to close by Justinian the Great of the Eastern Roman Empire, and the ancient Egyptian polytheistic religious culture that had lasted for thousands of years came to an end. Along with it, there is also the art of idols, which is the carrier of ancient Egyptian polytheistic religious images. The Christian monotheism and the prohibition of idol worship not only led to the destruction of the statues of the gods in ancient Egypt, but also caused the craftsmanship and unique aesthetics of portrait sculpture and painting to disappear from this land. In 654 AD, the Muslims completely occupied Egypt, and Islam replaced Christianity as the main religion in this land. If the Christian era still allowed the creation of icon paintings with the theme of Jesus Christ and his disciples, then in the Islamic era, the sculpture and painting art related to human figures in Egypt entered a stage of complete withering. Artists were only allowed to draw and sculpt abstract geometric, flower and grass patterns. When the European Renaissance in the 14th to 17th centuries developed sculpture and painting skills to the extreme in Egypt, which once led the art trend of the entire Mediterranean world, its native sculpture and painting not only did not progress, but also failed to catch up with the level before the Christian era. However, this backward situation was finally changed in the early 20th century. A group of local Egyptian artists who had received professional art education in Europe promoted the birth and development of modern Egyptian art, rewriting the history of Muslim artists lagging behind the times. These sculptors and painters broke through the restrictions of religion and skillfully combined ancient Egyptian elements, Islamic elements and Egyptian unique color tones with European classical and modern popular techniques, created a number of great modern artworks that are not only unique, but also can compete with the works of European artists of the same era. The most famous of these native artists is Mahmoud Mokhtar, who enjoys the title of the first Egyptian sculptor in 2000 years. He is considered a pioneer of modern Egyptian art and holds a pivotal place in the national and artistic history of modern Egypt in the 20th century.